Hey guys, welcome to Adventure Gaming HQ, and today we're going to be doing our first Mod Monday. On these days, I show you guys some things you guys can do with Android and jailbroken devices. Today, I'll be showing you guys how to get the closest thing you can get to Plug PE on an Android device. This is going to require four applications, as you can see on my screen. And the reason why I want to make this video is because I make a whole bunch of videos just for Plug PE. So I want you guys on Android to do the exact same things I'm doing on iOS. Now, when I say something like Plug PE, I mean like it, it will it will be able to get the things you can get from Plug PE. It won't be able to do all the commands, even though you can get an application that I'll show you in this video that will allow you to use one of the commands, which is how to get uh, uh, any enchantments on anything and uh, enchant it however many levels you want. Also, just to let you know, I am a very new Android user, so I may say something incorrectly or something like that. Just please let me know politely in the comment section below if I do something wrong. So let's get started with these four applications you'll need. So we'll go into the Play Store right here, and we're going to search here first Minecraft PE. Well, obviously you'll need Minecraft, but yes, you want to get Minecraft. It's like 7 or $8 on the App Store, so that's your first thing you'll need. So you obviously Minecraft need Minecraft for anything Minecraft on an Android device. Next, you'll need Block Launcher. So here is Block Launcher. Now, there's Block Launcher Pro and Block Launcher. Now, mistakenly, I bought the Block Launcher Pro. Th that was a mistake because the Block Launcher C Pro, surprisingly, isn't as good as the original Block Launcher, or I don't know if it's the original one, but the other Block Launcher that's completely free. So uh, I wouldn't recommend getting the Pro one because it's, it's actually not as good as the free one for whatever reason. So you want to get Block Launcher. Next, what you want to get is you want to get Toolbox. So you want to search tool, Toolbox for tool, Toolbox for Minecraft PE, and it's here. Here, this first one. This is what you want to get. Now, uh, you don't need to get this one if you don't want to get the enchanted items and stuff like that. You can also teleport with this application. It's actually a really, really good application. I would recommend getting this one not only for this, but for many other different things. And now, the application that's almost exactly like Plug PE, or, or at least get you the things that are in Plug PE, you will need Pocket Inventory Editor, which is spelled like this. Pocket Inv ed 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 Editor. Here it is, po Pocket Inv Editor. 10 million downloads, that's crazy. So you want to get Pocket Inv Editor. So what do all of these applications do? First of all, Block Launcher is like this thing that allows you to launch mods and stuff like that i don't want to get too much into detail i'll just show you guys how to use it for this purpose so first we're gonna look at toolbox so toolbox is very easy to activate all you have to do is go into toolbox and then that's oh, that's all that's all you just go into toolbox and then and then go back to the front page and then go into block launcher and then once you go into block launcher uh, right here right there we go into block launch, we, we uh, go onto a new world, and here we can see this M button right here. Tap on that M button and look at all of this awesomeness. This is absolutely crazy. I, 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 it's like a too many, I, well it is a too, too many items mod. It, it allows you to get all the plug, some, that's, uh, uh, don't, don't, don't listen to that. You can get some of the items in plug PE, as you can see, you can, you can get half doors, you can get nether reactors, you can get a portal block, you can get uh, advanced invisible bedrock, but you can't get all of them, which is why you want to have the second application, which allows you to get all of them very, very easily. But right now we're looking at this one. So, so uh, and also, uh, when, if, if I say a item in Plug PE, you want to first look through this inventory to, just to see if it's in here, and so you, you don't have to use the second application, which is kind of a little bit more frustrating to use. So, first look through this one before you look through the second application, which I'll show you guys later. But right now now we're going to learn how to enchant anything. So what you want to do is you want to, uh, first of all, you want to get something into, well, first you got to go into, uh, I don't, oh, actually, I don't think you need to go into survival, although I'm not just going to go into survival. So we're going to survival, and then here it says we can enchant things by pressing that enchant button. But first, we need to get an item. So we're going to get an item here. 
Uh, let's everyone get some tea. Oh, so, oh, sure, some of these. So we got some of those, and here, instead of our inventory, we have some of those. Now, if we press this inventory, or this enchant button right here, we press it, and now just tap an item. We're gonna tap those lamps, and right now you shouldn't be able to enchant a lamp. That's you shouldn't be able to do that. And if you uh, you can add all of these enchantments, like you can tap and hold on the plus button for it to give you hundreds and hundreds of uh, enchantment. I think all the way up to 32,767. But Plug PE obviously allows you to type that in a lot faster. But you know, at least you get to have this at all. So now when you're done, you just press save. And then now when you go back out, you can take out your crazy redstone lamp. So yeah, that's how you get as many enchantments as you want on something. So now let's look at the application that allows you to get anything that is available in Plug PE, or at least that I know of. So it's this application, Pocket Inventory Editor. So now we go into Pocket Inventory Editor, and here you can see World. So look, it says My World right there. Now if we were to go back into Minecraft Pocket Edition, it doesn't have to be block launcher, but just in Minecraft Pocket Edition, and we create a new world, and let's say we call it, uh, Booty, just like this booty, and we create it, and look at this, so now we have blue booty, now we can just, uh, close this out, I'm just gonna close it, and now when we go back into a Pocket Inventory Editor, it says here, Booty, so now we have Booty! Now we can go to booty and we can edit the inventory in booty because we have nothing in our, whoa, we have nothing in our inventory. So let's go into booty and we can press edit inventory, which this, this is what you want to do. Edit inventory and then here you can see everything we got instead of our inventory in creative because we, we created the world in creative so we can uh, edit things inside of creative. Now in plug PE, you can't edit everything that you have in your inventory in creative. You have to go into survival and then go back into creative. So this is actually really, really cool. And also, if we go back into, uh, let's see, uh, whoa, 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 whoa. we want to go into uh, my world, and we press edit inventory, there is our enchanted lamp, right there, you see that? Now if we tap on that enchanted lamp, lamp we can change what it is, but if you don't want to change what you already have, and you're good with what you have, you can actually create a new uh, inventory slot, because these are all the things inside of your inventory in order. Now if we press more, we can create uh, an empty, an, an add an empty slot. Now when we do this, we can actually add anything we want. So let's say we watch one of my videos where I teach you guys how to make a custom portal. You'll need to have the portal block, which is 90. And when you type that in, you won't, you won't know what you're typing in unless you press this browse button right here. Then you can look at what you're typing in. So we're gonna type in uh, 90 again. 90, there it is, portal. Just tap on that, and there you go. Now you know what you have. But if you already know what you're getting, and you don't need to look at what it is, you can just type it in here like that. Although there's no, no such thing that has that, uh, that, that has that ID. But we're gonna do 90, and we don't even need to look at the browse button, because we already know what it is. And then next you can see item damage. We don't need to uh, touch with that ever. So don't worry about that. And then you can see amount. So you can pick however many you want, maybe 200. And 55 uh, that's the most amount of something you can have inside your uh, slot so if you want to have that much you can if you uh, press you can see these two buttons down here fill slot and uh, 255 in slot which will automatically uh, type in these numbers for you so you can see I'm switching through both of them and it'll automatically give you that number so let's just say we want to have two so if we put two and we uh, press uh, we just press back we can just put, put, uh, put, go back and you can see now we have uh, two uh, portal so now if we go into Minecraft pocket edition and we look at that map again which we'll see here we'll go into survival and look at this if we go into here there it is our two portal and so there you go that's how you basically get plug PE for an Android device it's the closest thing to it so I'm sorry if you wanted exactly plug PE there's no way for you to do that that I know cuz I'm a I'm an Android noob I, l I looked it up on the App Store it wasn't there all right everyone since this video was so short I thought I would do a mini mini plug mod now it may look like I have a bunch of mini mini plug mods, but they all come together as a glitched cake. So today we'll be looking at some glitched cakes in Minecraft Pocket Edition. Now if you don't know what mini mini plug mods are, they are suggested secret items that my subscribers actually suggest to me in the comment section, and this is one of them. So, uh, we have a whole, whole bunch of them, but the person who uh, brought up this idea to my mind was this guy, Sir Agent Chicken or something like- No one has ever done that! No one has ever done that! And he said for me to put in this command, dot G, 
354A. Now, I put in that, and this is what I got. I thought he just gave me a cake, but then when I placed it, whoa, what is this? It was really, really cool at first, and I, I didn't know exactly what it was, but then I thought, there's a lot of actually cake glitches that I've seen around, so I wanted to experiment around this number, so around uh, 354 8. I started like doing 3, uh, 354 7 and 354 uh, 9, 354 10, 354 11, and so on. So first I went down. I, I want to see what's lower than 354 8. This, <laughs> this is what's lower. Ready? Ready for this? Bang! A sliver like. Like, less, not even a pixel of sliver. Here, look, let me see if I can make it disappear. Look, it vanished. It's gone. No one will ever know. But then when I move, there it is. Really, really weird. So then I started going up, up numbers. So now I went nine, tried this one out. It was actually a little bit wider than this one. This one wasn't as wide as this one. And then I tried this one. I placed it. And look, it's getting wider and wider, as if you're like inverting eating it. Like it's, like like you know how a uh, cake would get smaller as you eat it. I think it's like inverted eating cake or something. I have I don't know. I'm not a scientist, but but and then here's another one. It gets a little bit wider, and it just keeps on getting wider the more you go. And then the big 15. Look at this one. That is a huge messed up block. Like it's it's so weird the way it works. Like like the outsides of it are like invisible, but you can see like the inside of it is like visible, the outside is invisible. I don't even know what's going on. And then like when you like you can break it from here, but if you aim right here, you will only break the block that's under it. It's so so weird. And then when you get uh, far enough down, you can actually walk on it. Uh, let me see which one is it. That one. So this one, you can walk on it right, right here. I can't even step on it without falling off of it. It's so thin. But then over here, this one also has one that you can actually uh, walk on. That's easier to walk on. I think if I can even do this in the first place. So hard. But it it is just so so weird. And I'm not I don't I'm not understanding what's going on. But but it is. Okay. Thank you, Chicken Dude, for this awesome mini plug mod. Alright everyone, I think that's just about the end of this entire video. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to rate, comment, and subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos.